Hey, CRJ here. I just want to let you know there's not going to be a recipe video this week, mainly because I got to up the ante at my day job, but I got something to hold you over. A while ago, I submitted a video for a YouTuber called Nick Nimmin. Basically, he was lending out an olive branch to smaller YouTubers in order to get featured on his channel. And looking for the opportunity to give my channel a boost, I decided, well, no, I'll give it a shot. So I submitted my video, and months later, nothing happened. I had the video as unlisted on my channel. I went on over, but but I went over and it doesn't seem like Nick even took a peek at my video. Other than the times I viewed it, it got no traction at all. Anyway, since well, since he never looked at it, I just thought, F it. As for the video, like I said earlier, it's about what it means to be a creator. Think of it as a really rough version of the channel trailer. Anyway, enough gabbing, here it is. What does it mean to be a creator? To me, it means you are the boss of your own content. You have the freedom and ability to put your own spin on things. For example, my show, Chase Cutting Kitchen, is pretty much a silly, funny, how-to cooking show. You got jokes. Does your country's currency resemble Monopoly money? Well, the number you're looking for is 190 degrees Celsius. You got sketches. It's alive! With flavor. But most importantly, I show you how to cook. Gently dunk in our potato wedges. The catchphrase for my show is making cooking fun and meaning it this time. And that's what inspired me to make the show because both on TV and YouTube, a lot of how-to cooking shows follow the same format. Tripod shot up the chef, close-up shot up the food, and they pretty much switch in between them every couple minutes. Another thing about being a content creator is that with enough creativity, you can share your knowledge with anyone. For example, I don't know crap about electricity or electronics, but when I started watching Mihi Sedagar's Electro Boom channel, I suddenly have knowledge about how electricity works and how not to put together a circuit. I also learned more about critical thinking and filmmaking thanks to Captain Disillusion. One more thing I love about cre being creator is that the buck stops with you. I mean, if I was to take my show and pitch it to a TV network, things would play out pretty differently. So, who does your show appeal to? Oh, gee, uh, I don't know, um, everyone? No, 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 that's not how television works, kid. We need to market our shows towards a specific demographic. Since this is a cooking show, it needs to be marketed towards women. We're thinking of Bossa Nova soundtrack, a warm, rosy color palette, and lots and lots and lots of Chardonnay wine. Um, even the show at women isn't exactly what I had in mind. Ah, that's a cooking show for guys. Let's man this up with some heavy metal, flames, and your own personal army of hot, half-naked female sous chefs. Wh no! Cooking is an important skill to have, regardless of gender. In fact, it's the stupid gendered marketing why guys have no interest in cooking. So yeah, that's why YouTube's better.